is heard spinning, and that's for the voice of America. I'm Les Carpenter in Washington. The following is a message from the State Department for U.S. citizens in Kuwait and Iraq. We have no more charter flights scheduled at this time. However, we will continue to assist with the travel arrangements of all U.S. citizens and their foreign-born family members who want to depart and are allowed to do so. Our embassies in Kuwait and Iraq remain open to assist American citizens. Individuals who are not allowed to depart or who have chosen to remain in Kuwait or Iraq should stay in contact with the embassy. We also remind American citizens remaining in Iraq and Kuwait to keep a low profile and exercise caution, especially adult male Americans. Iraqi soldiers continue to detain Western males and to deny embassy officials access to them. We will continue to work for your release. This has been a message from the U.S. State Department for American citizens in Kuwait and Iraq. From the Voice of America, I'm Les Carpenter in Washington. Good evening and welcome to VOA's Report to the Americas for Wednesday, November 14th. I'm Tom Crosby. We begin tonight with labor unrest across South America. 